Hi, I'm Andy, and welcome to a Watch Crave video. Today, we will be having a look at the San Martin SN0109, a GMT Black Bay homage. For this particular model, you can get it with either a black or off-white dial. This model was released last year, and I believe the price at the time was 329 USD. However, you can get it these days for around 260 to 300 US dollars. If you buy the watch from the official San Martin store on AliExpress, you should get the watch in this green leather box. However, I got mine from Watch Dives, so the watch comes in a Pelican case. Along with the case, there's a warranty card, the manual, and the bracelet sizing tools. If it's your first time buying a San Martin, I recommend buying from a seller who provides this leather box. It's definitely nicer than the Pelican case. Moving on to the specs and measurements. The watch case diameter measures at 39mm, however the bezel extrudes a bit out from the case, so if we include the bezel, the diameter is 39.8mm, almost 40 It is only 13mm thick, which is actually 1.5mm thinner than the watch is homaging, the Black Bay GMT. The lug width measures at 20mm, the lug to lug is 48.5mm, combined with the female end links, it will fit both small and large wrists. The watch glass consists of a dome sapphire crystal with clear AR coating on the inner side. The water rating is only 100 meters or 330 feet. San Martin does have a good track record with waterproofing their watches. I believe they do pressure test their watches. While I doubt most people will take this watch underwater, it probably will survive your recreational swimming. With four links removed, it weighs in at 134 grams. The watch is powered by the Seiko NH34 movement. It's a brother to the popular NH35. The biggest difference here being the GMT hand. I'll demonstrate how it works. Starting with the crown unscrew, we first pull the crown out to the first position. From here, you can rotate the crown anti-clockwise to change the date. Rotating the crown clockwise, will make the GMT hand jump to the next position. You can use this hand and the bezel to keep track of a second time zone. Now if we pull the crown out further to the second position, the watch will stop and you can set the time. You can see that the GMT hands moves every hour. Once we're all happy with the time setting, we push the crown back into the initial position and the watch resumes its operation. The NH34 is an automatic movement that beats at 21,600 beats per hour. The movement supports hacking and hand winding. It has a power reserve of 41 hours and being a sibling to the NH35 movement, the NH34 also shares the same accuracy rating. Out of the box, it's rated at plus 40 and minus 20 seconds per day. However, this particular watch here has an accuracy of plus 5 seconds, thanks to San Martin regulating their watches. Moving on, the case is brush finished top and side. There's a nice polished chamfered edge between the top and side. As usual with San Martin, their finishing is top notch. I'm also happy to say that this particular watch doesn't have any sharp tips or edges. Onto the back of the case, we have a brush finish and screw down case back. For the crown, we have a screw down crown that's nicely finished and decorated with the San Martin engraving. Moving on to the bezel, we have a bi-directional, however, only 24 clicks bezel. Which I guess kind of makes sense being a GMT watch. The bezel operates well, and there's not much back play. Thankfully, it's also well aligned. The bezel insert is made of aluminium, and it's also very nicely finished. It has a nice texture to it. One thing I would like to mention is that there's no loom on the bezel insert. I'm guessing it has something to do with the bezel insert design that they're going for. It's not a big deal, but it would have been nicer to have full bezel loom. The watch bracelet is also brush finished on top and bottom to a high degree. However, the sides are polished. The bracelet links are solid and held together with screws. The links are connected fairly tightly, so there's not much rattling, which is a good thing. The bracelet starts at 20mm and taper down to 16mm. It's connected to a mill clasp. The clasp is double push pin operated. It's brushed finish on the top and side along with a polished edge. 
There's also a big San Martin logo decorated into the clasp. The clasp has four micro adjustment holes. It's adequate for getting a decent fit, but it would be better if there's more micro adjustments or an inclusion of a half link. Moving on to the face of the watch. Here we have a black matte dial and apply indices. The dial has a nice matte texture and the indices are well polished. There's a printed chapter ring around the edge of the dial. Below the 12 o'clock, we have an Apply San Martin logo. Above the 6 o'clock, we have the water rating, automatic, and GMT tax. Finally, we have the white date window at the 3 o'clock position. For the hands, this being a Black Bay homage, we have white snowflake hands. The hands are well finished, and the paint match fairly well with the paint on the indices. I noticed that the paint on the hands are a little bit wider, but it's not noticeable unless you look really close. The hands and indices are applied with a generous amount of BGW9 loom. Unfortunately, there is no loom on the bezel, however, the looms are bright and last for quite a while. On my 6.2 inch wrist, it fits very comfortably thanks to the female end links. It's definitely a good watch for those with slender wrists. So, how do I feel about this watch? The watch has a lot going for it. As usual with a San Martin watch, it's very well finished. The movement is accurate, the bezel is bi-directional and operates well, the dial indices and hands are all well executed. The watch also wears very comfortably on my small wrist. In terms of negatives, to be honest, the only gripe I have is that there is no loom on the bezel insert. I understand that it probably came down to a design factor but it would also be good to have a choice with a fully loom bezel. And that brings us to the end of this video. What do you think about this watch? Did you get your hands on one and how did you like or dislike it? Feel free to drop a comment down below. If you find this video enjoyable or helpful, please drop a like and subscribe for future videos. As a new channel, I really appreciate your support. Until next time!